Number 44. Nuclear fusion, the energy source of the sun, hydrogen bombs, and fusion reactors, occurs much more readily when the average kinetic energy of the atoms is high. That is, at high temperatures. Suppose you want the atoms in your fusion experiment to have average kinetic energies of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. What temperature is needed? Well, what's needed here is an equation that relates right kinetic energy to temperature. And we have one, right? Here's, this, here's the formula. Kinetic energy will be equal to 3 halves multiplied by the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin. And this is it. If you're wondering where this equation came from, I have a general video on the kinetic theory of gases, which I think you'll find extremely helpful. Check out the link in the description below. I'll leave it there. So what I need to do is find temperature because they gave me kinetic energy. So all I have to simply do is just rework this formula slightly. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say that it's 3 kT all over 2. Okay. In order to solve for T, take what's in the numerator on the right-hand side, bring it down into the denominator on the left. What's ever in the denominator on the right-hand side, bring it up into the numerator on the left. Put your little division sign there. Get rid of this. Reorganize the T a little bit. And voila. There it is. You just solve for it. See how easy peasy that is? I just did a series of cross multiplications. So this is now going to be, and I'll put this in brackets or parentheses just so you see that that's kinetic energy, not to confuse that K with the Boltzmann constant. So this is now simply going to be 2 multiplied by that kinetic energy of 6.40 times 10 to the minus 14. And we have the right units. They should be in joules, so that's fine. Divided then by 3 multiplied by our Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus, times 10 to the minus 23. That's equal to the temperature. Just take out the calculator and solve. So it's going to be 2 times 6.4 times 10 to the minus 14. All divided by, in parentheses now, 3 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And close those parentheses. And oh my, but Jesus, we get a very large value here. So this is going to be about 3.09 3 times 10 to the, give me one second. I've got to count all these places. 3, 6, it looks like 9. All right times 10 to the 9, and that is in Kelvin. And that is what the temperature is. That's the temperature. Easy peasy. All right, guys? Hopefully this helped. Help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.